Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about how we can keep our backup like PEM file or secret key. Either you can keep that backup to your S3 bucket or you can keep that outside of the AWS also or since it is a key right and it is as more like a security stuff right then how we can store that to in the secret manager uh, today our agenda is like we will store that PM file to the secret manager and then I will show you like how we can get back that secret from the secret manager and then uh, how, how we can retrieve it okay guys so let's move on to the AWS console so I am in AWS console here let's go to the EC2 section here and in this left side menu you can go a little bit down here in the network and security section we have the key pair let's click on key pair Suppose once you created this key, uh, PM file, right, there is a no way to get back actually. Here, no option to retrieve actually. If suppose by mistake you forget to save somewhere or keep somewhere, right, then it will be very difficult to get back. Otherwise, you what you need to do, you need to create one more PM file and that PM file you have to attach to the existing EC2 instance. That's the another way to recover your uh, EC2 instance to connect. And uh, other way is like if you already keep this as a backup in the key store, right, security is secret manager then what happened from the secret manager you can get it back let me show you how you can actually real life scenario like uh, what purpose we can use this kind of approach right suppose uh, a thing is a scenario is something like that where application you are not launching is to instance and you are not the owner to maybe some other uh, teams or some other services they are launching is to instance on behalf of you but from, from your side, you don't have any control to launch instance or anything, okay? And you don't have a control to attach that, create new PM file and attach to that particular instance. So that kind of control you don't have. But you have the control to retrieve that, uh, that PM file from where maybe they, while they are launching, they will keep that to the secret manager. And from the secret manager, you can get it back. So let me show you how we can get that. So let's create one PM file here. Demo PM, okay, something like that, and create it. So, what we need to do once you create it, right? So, what we can do, uh, let me show you that. So, let's open this one. Let's go to another tab and the secret manager. as a plain text let's keep these details here okay let's go to the next and you can give your file name here right so that name you can hold here let's select test and store so our signature store is done okay guys now, if you lost this one, right, then how we can retrieve back that secret? So, let me show you how we can retrieve back. So, let's go to in this here, and here is the option retrieve the secret value. If you go here, then you can see again plain text, whatever value you have stored, then you can copy that and you can uh, create one file with this PEM file and give the permission 400. Then you can connect that to EC2 instance. Okay guys, so this is how we can store our uh, PM file. This is a short video. This is how we can store our PM file or we can keep our backup to the uh, secret manager and then uh, by uh, this uh, retrieve option, we can retrieve back also that secret. Okay guys. And if you would like to edit also, there is an option to edit also. If you want to edit, you can edit also. Okay. So I hope this will helpful to you guys and real life application scenario also I explained right. If you don't have the uh, access to uh, uh, like uh, create a secret or you don't have access to create a institution instance attach the secret. If, if you don't have that kind of permission right then while some other team launching on behalf of you this kind of application then they has to store this secret to somewhere like secret manager or maybe S3 bucket or whatever place they want to store okay guys. So I hope this session will helpful to you guys and if, if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then I will request you guys please subscribe and share surrounding with your friend this video that will really inspire to me and it will really uh, help to me also. So please and if you have any doubt or anything then put those doubt in this video comment section I will address that. Okay guys please subscribe and like this video if you feel this is valuable. Okay chalo bye.